This is Red Salute with another Red Dead Online upload. When the legendary Nightwalker Panther spawns in southern Scarlet Meadows, it might not be the only danger in the area. Keep your guard up and watch out for a second panther which regularly spawns at Old Harry Fen, the forest around an old abandoned cabin, which is also home to the stranger Black Bell. There are several snakes which spawn around Old Harry Fen, which can easily spook your horse, therefore making it susceptible to bucking you. So keep an eye on your compass and surroundings while spamming the eye. I highly recommend using Slow and Steady as your Deadeye card to anchor your horse, in addition to damage cards such as Horseman, Winning Streak, and Peak Condition, while drinking a blending tonic and snake oil when hunting legendary animals, especially big game predators like panthers. Blending tonics, which you can buy at Harriet Davenport stores, are very helpful as they conceal your scent from animals, enabling a stealthy approach and an element of surprise when you're hunting. This is one of my favorite locations for hunting because you can come away with both a legendary Nightwalker panther carcass and a second panther carcass, which drastically reduces the hunting grind of the trader roll. This is Old Harry Fen, which I refer to as Panther Paradise. In this instance, it was a three-star panther, which provides 1750 in materials and almost has the same material worth as some legendary animal pelts. So you can not only come away with a legendary Nightwalker panther carcass, which is worth 3719 materials, but also a second three-star panther carcass, which is worth 1750 materials. Once again, another three-star panther in addition to the legendary Nightwalker panther. This is an excellent example of why you should use Slow and Steady as your Deadeye card when hunting legendary predators, as both panthers and cougars will swarm your horse in order to terrify it into bucking you off. However, Slow and Steady will anchor or steady your horse. Slow and steady should prevent your horse from bucking you, which should enable a successful hunt. Star Panther to go with the legendary Nightwalker Panther. Finally, sometimes Panthers will spawn back to back at Old Harry Fen. Hunt one, 
deliver it to Crips, then return afterwards as another panther can spawn. As I return to camp to donate the carcass to Crips, I've sped up the footage to the point where I return to Old Harry Fen and discover a second panther. The NPC corpse is part of a random event in which after you inspect the body, a predator spawns. However, despite this random event not working, there should still be a panther. So even when the legendary Nightwalker panther isn't spawning, you can still come away with two 3-star panthers in one night. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.